Hi, Russell. My name is Michelle. Thanks so much for reaching out for a free website audit and some SEO tips and tricks. So glad that I had some time off this week that I can pour back into small businesses like yourself. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started, okay? I'm going to go over a few things that um, Google looks for in regards to ranking websites along the Google platform. Um, I did notice that you are um, currently ranking for a few things, but um, I do believe that there is still some room for improvements. So I'll go over those with you today, okay? First things first. What, number one thing Google looks for for organically ranking a website or moving it off of a back page up the ranks to number one on the Google platform is content. And what do I mean by content? Content is anywhere that text appears on your website. Just from going through some of the other competition in your area, I would say that you needed about 1,500 words on your front homepage um, to be ranking for um, to be ranking for your homepage alone. And what do I mean by that? If you Google search anything specific, like let's say blue cheese, um, Wikipedia is going to be the number one source that pops up. Why is that? Well, if you click on it and you know anything about Wikipedia, you know that it has a ton of content, right? Google looks for content, finds that as a good stability um, measure within your website, and that's going to organically rank you. So right now, you do have some text right here um, in this section here, but um, we definitely would want to increase that to about 1,500 words. My next um, suggestion would be when you go to your services tab, you just have everything listed here. Google, again, loving content, also loves multiple pages. So I would take each one of these sections and make a new page on your website. And on that new page, I would include anywhere between 750 to 1,000 words per page. Now, why is that important? When people specifically do uh, Google searches, let's say for um, stain proofing, their carpet. They're going to type in stain proofing and potentially the area that you live in. As of right now, you're not getting found for that, just having a topic. For every keyword you rank for, you need about 250 to 500 words surrounding that text. So um, right now, you're just not being found for a lot of keywords. So I would take and make, again, new pages, uh, multiple pages on your website, multiple places to add content and keywords, and I'll go over why that's important here. If you look here, this is a site um, that I go to. Um, what happened? I'm so sorry. Hold on. Called Ahrefs. It kind of gives me um, a breakdown of um, your website. So right now, this UR and DR, they should have some numeric value for me to look at. Um, and right now, we're not ranking for anything. And I'll tell you what that means. That means you have zero backlinks and zero referring domains coming to your to your website. So what is a backlink? A backlink is anything like Yelp or um, Angie's List where you put your website on somebody else's website and when they click it, it takes them to your website. So you would leave a link on someone else's website referring back to yours. That's considered a backlink. Google loves backlinks. It shows stability. It shows um, good marketing strategy. So Google loves backlinks. So not having any right now, that is kind of a hindrance. This also shows for your um, website alone, your organic traffic from your website is zero, meaning people are not going to your website. And I will show you why. For organic keywords here, if you click it, there's carpet cleaning, I don't know how to pronounce this, if it's whirl, and whirl carpets. So um, those are pretty good keywords. You are at number 73 and 95, so you're on page like 10 and 12 of these searches, meaning you are not ever getting found. We do know that when people do a Google search for a specific keyword like carpet cleaning world, that the people on page one of Google are going to get the most business. Your chances of getting that business being on page one are, are pretty um, significant, whereas being on page... 10 and 12, you're not going to ever see any volume from your website. So 
How else do we get people to your website? Um, this is the Google Map Pack or um, Google My Business as you might be familiar with it. You're actually not too far down this list. I think you're um, at number six um, or seven on the list. But what we know is these top three get the most business because they're visible. They don't have to click around and find it. They type in what they need and these are the top results. With that said, these rank primarily with citations. And what is a citation? A citation is anywhere that your business name, phone number, and location is um, on like some type of online directory. So think Yellow Pages or Yelp, things like that. I do have the ability to see what your biggest competition, how many they have, and how many you would need to further secure that spot to be the number one or in the top three um, on a standard basis. So those are my three tips. So lots of content on your website, multiple pages with multiple keywords, um, citations, adding your name to a lot of online directories, um, name, phone number, address, and getting this boosted up. Also adding a lot of pictures and reviews to your GMB are going to help you as well. And then adding backlinks. So again, backlinks are anywhere that your website is linked on a different site pointing back to yours. Um, that's going to bring this ratio up. Um, we want these numbers to be high. So right now not having any, it's kind of hard to, to show you what I mean. But this shows in the last um, three months, one month, or seven days how your website is ranking, and it's showing zero traffic. So right now you're not getting any traffic through your website. And um, by, by putting energy effort um, into ranking your website, you are going to get a lot more leads and um and customers that way too. So anyway, Russell, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to reach out. Um, I do ask that if you could just send me an email or a message on my uh, messenger letting me know what you thought of this video. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope these tips help you and I will be in touch soon. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.